my dear. Hello. So Hi. I'll give you a nice salad. Lovely. Lovely Greek salad. Thank you. Delicious. Some special wine leaves. Yeah. Homemade. Great. Very fantastic. <gasps> Aubergine rolls. Thank you. Great time, some helps. Perfect. Thank Enjoy. you, Faris. Thank you, Faris. Um, so Pythagoras lived and worked here uh, most of his life. We think he actually taught his students in a cave. Um, and of course, one of the brilliant things that he came up with was his theorem, which uh, probably bugged you all at school, which was A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Um, and it's a bit of geometry that allows all kinds of things to happen, architecture and technology and science. So that is obviously very cool. But as well as the grand challenges of civilization, Pythagoras also seems to have applied his brilliance to the temptations of the flesh. I'm told there's a souvenir that I absolutely have to get, which apparently is a cup invented by Pythagoras, uh, which I have to say I find slightly hard to believe, but I'm, I'm going to go and check it out. <laughs> I've, I've heard about this Pythagoras cup. cup. The ancient writers talk about it and they say that um, basically it stops you getting drunk. But I don't... Yes, there is a line here that is the limit. Uh -huh. So if I put water or wine until the line... Just up there. OK. Here, I'm OK. If I put more and pass the line, then I lose everything. How does that work? That's really... Cos you, you can't see any holes inside. Yes, but actually there are three holes. Yeah. How does that work? You must see the inside to understand okay. how it works. That's genuinely, because... genuinely impressive. So okay. you see it's total empty. Yes, yeah, totally empty. That's very tragic. All your wine gone. And now yeah. it's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> there are two holes here and one here. Yeah. So the water passes from that two holes. Yes. It comes up here. And when it reaches that hole, that is the line outside, mm -hmm. then it makes a siphon and the air presses all the water down. That's extremely sneaky. So it's like a kind of, um, it's a sort of, well, it's a kind of morality lesson and a kind of practical joke at the same time. Yes, exactly. It's a lesson for the life. And don't want more and more and more because at the end you have nothing. You see, that is one of the reasons I love Greece, ancient and modern, because there are these little kind of, you know, bomb little life lessons in, yes. in everything, even in a simple thing like a cup. Pythagoras made this for his students because yes. he wants all to drink the same quantity of wine. So it's a lesson. Yeah, good, good for him. Thank you so much. Brilliant. Genius. A full cup of wine and a, and a morality lesson all in one swift purchase. Thank you.